And I will do an, an intro since I didn't mention Dane Van Der Reel as one of our members. Basically what I was doing is I've been um, playing around. We're, me and a number of other people are attempting to put together a science fiction web series. And so um, we wanted to do set extensions. And that's what this, this clip here is, is our test to do set extensions. And we started out with this, which is me in our um, hand custom built chroma key studio. <laughs> I'm proud of it. <laughs> it's really quite a hack, but it, it gets the job done surprisingly well. Um, and my experience has been if you want to do group, uh, green screen or blue screen keying, never have yourself touching it because as soon as you touch it your king goes to hell it's really huh. really not good um so what i've done is this is our our set test down here that i'm standing on um we intend to build bigger sets but this actually worked and that that kind of surprised me at the end of the day um and then this huh. what i ended up doing is we put it in blender and we have this node group, which is, um, this is actually our keying setup. And what we've got going on, um, I probably should have split it out of a node group, but is we've got the um, video input from the video clip we recorded. And then we have the, um, video, or the render input from Blender. And Blender has this really nice blue screen key or green screen keying. I think it's just a chroma key node. Let me make sure it's I'm looking at the right one. Yeah, a uh, keying screen is the node. I renamed it for my own <coughs> understanding of what I was looking at. And this node has options in it to basically define things such as what color you're going to actually be keying. And then how much basically, you know, how much of the dark is going to be either transparent or not transparent. It's kind of a tutorial in itself to get into exactly the art of keying. But the general point is Blender has all the tools that you can use to get a really decent key accomplished. Like what I was surprised by is that we actually have this blue color here and then we have another blue color on the floor and it, it keyed out, which I was not anticipating that would work <laughs> at all. So there's some surprises in here for me. But in addition to keying things out, Blender can do masks. I don't know if you guys have seen masks. Um, some, some people obviously must have. Um, probably no more than I do. And then, well, that's in the movie clip editor. You can make your, uh, no, that's not. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the uh, <laughs> video clip. But anyway, there would be options to edit masks there if I had it set up correctly, which I apparently don't anymore. But you can add masks to define additional elements to the key. So how I've done that is I have the, the blue screen key. I'm going to have a um, basically combine or color mix. Color. Yep, just a color mix node. And I tell it to mix these two colors together. Just for that, I use the contrast here so that they would just remove extra white, I think. And then you can just basically go on down the line and do it again and again. And I added a color spill remove node because if you, you'll actually find blue on the edges of my clothing or the face if you don't remove color spill. Then this is some, just some color correction, minor modifications. This is mixing in the background, this node here, another color node mixer. We basically took the, the color node that we used that was uh, 
anyway, we took the output from the blue screen key and we put that into our mix of colors to define where it would get mixed. So that's the back here. And then that tells it that this image goes on top of this image. And it tells it how it goes on top. So what should be transparent in the first image and what should not be transparent. And after that, I brought it back out to the real world. I think this might be another level of mixing, but it's effectively the same idea. You know, defining what goes on top of what. And then that's, that's my entire key right there. If that makes much sense, it's kind of a complicated setup um, that I almost forgot how to, what I did. Um, and then I've got just color modifications coming out of it, color curves, uh, lights and lens distortion to try and add a little bit of realism. I have um, some lens glare to give it a little bit of, again, realism, some distortion from a light. And then minor, this is made of black and white, this note here. And then that's the uh, finished image here. So that's the basics, the basically our key, key test setup, which I was very, very pleased with um, the work. I'm trying to render out a preview of the original again. There we go. So this is, this is the node setup that we used. And I added tiles. I was originally going to try and extend the floor as flat, but I determined the tiles tended to blend better because I was standing on a real tile. So if I just duplicated tiles and spread them out, it started to look very convincing. <coughs> and then we have the actual set um, that we built which is some really, really basic models. It's just a, uh, it's a single, well, at this point, it's not just a single, but it was a single, just a plane, provide really basic texture to, and then I arrayed the plane. Do that now. I mean, I'm using a Mac right now, and I never use Macs. <laughs> so, <laughs> all my controls are, are really messed up. There's like four buttons I need to press that allow me to access everything I want in Blender, and I can't yeah. find <laughs> That's why we moved into the PC lab from the Mac lab here at Portland Art Institute. Right? So right. I, most of the set is... It's like four models, and I just use an array of modifier to send them down the path. And at that point, pretty pretty basic, simple modeling. So that, that's How long I'm before doing. the first episode? That is a good question. Um, because basically, we want to finish the first episode in the next month and a half or so. Mm -hmm. um, but what we're endeavoring to create is very, very difficult to create. And we are finding the two points that we keep hitting. And we are figuring out how to combat them and work with them. But I anticipate we're going to hit a few more. And so before we're done with the first episode, it's going to be at least a month and a half, possibly two months. And then after that, we have to decide if we want to release the first episode or shoot a couple more so we can kind of control yeah. when the release comes out. There's, there's a certain point where if you hit a speed bump, it'd be nice if you just had another episode waiting in the wings to, to release while you're figuring out exactly how to get that one special effect or get that one location. Sounds to me like you're ready to go to some TV station nationwide. Of course, yes, very, very soon. <laughs> we, we just need $500,000 to finish. No problem. Episode. Sounds cheap. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll write you a check. <laughs> Chris says we'll, she'll we'll write you a check. We'll have the whole series ready in no time. Give us a couple months. Well, for the world, uh, you can watch out on uh, CosmicEmbers.com. Is that right, uh, Dane? 
Uh, www.cosmicembers.com. And uh, blenderpdx.org website. I believe we've got something on, on there for you. If not, we will, and we'll continue to keep it up to date. Being that you're one of our group members, we're we're proud to have somebody doing something, <laughs> regardless of how many <laughs> bumps you're hitting. <laughs> oh, it's going to be good. The reason we're hitting bumps is because we're demanding perfection. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I do that too, and that's why I've got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I saw you uh, did some music, Dane. Did, was that music for this project, or you just you just uh, multi talented photographer I, I just, and and blender? I just like recording music. I, I think I would record music, but I don't think I'm quite good enough to actually record the music for the show. Or at least not in the right kind of genre, because, you know, we'd want, like, a whole symphony type music. Yeah. And I, I record piano. That's it. Sounds nice. <laughs> Doesn't provide well, more than I can do. Of a science fiction film. How do I get back out and not be sharing at the, anymore? At the top of your screen, there should be um, ah. a stop, stop uh, screen share. There, there you go. go. That works. Okay. There you go. You can see who I am. So uh, I think that's it for uh, for uh, Portland Blender PDX. And thank you so much, Dane, for coming on r remotely. Yeah, definitely. Thank thank you for for inviting me to come share stuff. When you achieve something, I mean, when you achieve Cosmic Embers, we are really looking forward to it. And there's no timetable for you. Um, for that, uh, thank you everybody in the world and Sterling and Dane. Um, we're going to be signing off here. <laughs>